It's time to replace the rusted window frames. Look at this thing. If you pop it out, look at all this rust. Woo! Just rusted. The whole bottom, the actual rubber, there's no more, nothing left of the rubber of the base of this anymore. Now these window frames are pretty new. I mean, I put them in brand new like six years ago when I built the bus. But because they have all of these little internal ribs where the rubber goes in around the frame here and where the rubber tucks under here, it's hard to get paint in there. And so obviously it just started rusting. Like within two years, it was pretty bad. And now we're at five years and now there's really nothing left. So what I did for Christmas <laughs> is I got new stainless steel pop out window frames. <laughs> Everything is getting so dang expensive. It's absolutely ridiculous. So as you can see, it's actually not polished. It's unfinished stainless steel. So they made them because they wanted a month's pay if I wanted to get them polished. <laughs> so, so we're going to, in this video, we're going to polish these ourselves and we're going to save ourselves a bunch of money. The first thing we got to do is get these polished and then we need to get these pop out window frames off one at a time and switch them all out for our stainless windows. <laughs> it's going to be difficult to get our frame in this box so we're going to need to take the box off which I use for jewelry making. This is my jewelry polisher. Let's get this out of the way. protect our wall a little bit. What I'm going to use is a big six inch, pretty new. Uh, here's some different polishes. So I'm going to use, uh, I think I'm going to like the Tripoli or the bobbing compound on the rough. And then to final finish, I'm going to use the green. Uh, but I like the white diamond too. But let's start off with the rough and then do the final in the green. like a sharp knife. They call it a rake. And that's going to make this rag nice and soft, which is what we want. Grinder. 
bag gonna be a lot easier. seals the door frame here so I cleaned it up a little as much as I could and then I, I've got some uh, silicone spray here kind of make it all nice It is because it has this groove here <laughs> that all this rubber sits into and when I painted my old ones there was no way to really get the paint in there significantly to hold up over time and that's why they rusted in the first place is because it started from in these grooves this inside groove here and this one it was just too much that's why I'm going with the stainless steel this time and there's nothing wrong with having a little bit more crown We'll just work this in around. Now we can even it all out. But it goes like that. So it seals the water around the frame. It does a terrible job of that. <laughs> Nobody said that these classic cars were actually well designed. <laughs> All right, that one's ready to go in. So I'm reusing most of the rubber except for this inside rubber right here. And the main reason is not because it's old because it's only like six years old, but look at this gap right there. See the gap? There's a huge gap on the corners. 
like right in this corner in a lot of these corners they don't even hit so it's like the and and it's just a huge gap so they never really fit right and then so I got so I have new rubber for the doors and you can see they fit so much nicer and actually the old ones were short so they were actually short so they didn't even go all the way to the corner they were short so they didn't even go all the way to the corners so that's why I bought new ones and these new ones fit so much nicer so the problem with building classic cars is trying to figure out who has the better parts <laughs> you know <laughs> for something like this of course you're going to want to put the new rubber in because why not <laughs> go like that so we got it now for the final trick this rubber that goes around here that goes right into the pop-up has to be able to slide real nice otherwise it just gets jammed a lot the trick baby powder <laughs> So you got to put a lot of baby powder on the seal pretty constantly otherwise it just gets snagged right here so this helps it to slip I probably should have put it on before There you have it more chrome on the car I still got the other three to do tomorrow taking longer than I thought <laughs>